Hi all, this is a part of my broken washing machine, uh, 7 kg of Bosch, this is the 7 series and I thought to do a video about it, it was broken and actually I was waiting that it will be broken because this one had a lot of noise when the spinning process uh, at the end of the washing and uh, uh, also it was very old about uh, 12 years old I think and of course this is like all the Bosch you have uh, all the uh, special um, program you have a quick for 15 minutes and you have a mix and you have a 90 degrees and you can also do empty uh, for the drum and spin and uh, you have a spot and basically most of the washing machine are the same uh, the new one are not using call, call contacts like this one and maybe this is the reason that it was broken and uh, the new motors are much more quiet and uh, this one is only 7 kg and I bought one of 9 kg now and I will do a video about the, the new one and the new model but I thought to, to go over the control and uh, see what we have in the control so I've taken almost everything apart uh, and by the way there are two uh, uh, heavy weight that uh, controlling the machine that it will not uh, rotate or, or move during all the washing uh, programs and this is by two heavy weights one on the top of the drum and one uh, on the side of the drum it, one is, is a block and one is a circle and this is interesting but let's talk about the control and I will go over some of the things that, that I have in this one so basically there are many wires as you can see that are connected to every part and every uh, uh, sensor or motor of the washing machine and uh, you can see that the uh, the wide or, or the scene of the wire depends of course of the current that it's supposed to to go to and what I want to show you there are the orange and I think all the orange they are pretty wide and this goes to the motor the spin motor that uh, rotating uh, to both sides so maybe you have a few speeds so this is why you have many wires here you can see one two three four five six wires on the motor side this is uh, the most wide part and this is because it is going to the heating element and of course the heating element is the, the, the high, highest current on this machine so this go to the heating element this one is uh, the input the input is uh, coils and uh, maybe you have uh, uh, another sink in the coil of the entrance but basically I think it's uh, some kind of, of protection and also maybe a capacitors to reduce the cosinus phi of, of the motor maybe uh, but you have also uh, I guess capacitor on the motor itself and then this is the, the entrance of the water to the machine so you have actually uh, here uh, this is the enter uh, uh, the enter of of the main water and this goes uh, probably to the drawer that is uh, some to the drawer and some to the drum itself and here we have a more more sensor so probably one is the door and one is one of the motors and you have another motor that I took out by the way this motor I don't understand it is going to the drum there is a pipe to the drum and this is one direction like it is doing something directly to the drum and this is basically all and uh, 
So this is the, the, the uh, main switch that you choose uh, what program you want to use. And I will try to apply now uh, maybe power to see that I, I'm almost sure that it will power up. Maybe it will give an error because some of the things are missing, like the motor is not here. Maybe it is trying to sense the motor at the starts, but it will be uh, interesting to see what happens when I now put power and uh, uh, what happened here to uh, to the LCD. I guess that it will write some error because probably it is trying to find all the parts and it will find out that there is no coil uh, so something it's like checking the motor and probably it will give an error but let's try and see what happens. Okay, so before doing such a thing, of course, make sure to uh, put some isolation on the uh, wires that get the most of the power, like the motor and of course the, the heating element. So I put uh, in order to be on the safe side and also be with the switch because something can explode. And, and basically I don't uh, recommend to do it at home yourself. Uh, because you have to be familiar with electricity and about safety and everything but I'm doing it very safe and also I connected the ground also the ground is not connected there are no motors and nothing here so let's see if it is trying to send something so I will now power it up and now uh, do put maybe something aha uh -huh. <laughs> And it is working, so it is not trying to sense at first anything. This is very strange, and uh, it does work. Maybe, probably, if I will now press the, the start button, something will happen. I hope nothing will, will explode, but probably now it will give an error. I never tried it first time. Hopefully, nothing will explode. So. Let's try it. Aha. Okay, there is an error and it doesn't start. And this is what uh, is interesting. So they are not checking. Probably, I guess, in the new models, they are doing some checks uh, before the first power on. This is basically what I would do if I was designing such, such a washing machine. Uh, one last thing, uh, this is the heating element from the same washing machine and I want to show something very interesting. First of all, look how it looks after 12 years. There is no any uh, sign of rearing of this heating element. This is very strange because usually when you're taking such a sink out, a lot of scale and there is no scale uh, if you will look you have here the thermostat the thermostat that is going out you just press and it goes out there is one connector and you have of course the, the connection to the heating element itself and you have the ground and what I want to check now if if the heating element is okay because I thought that maybe uh, this is doing uh, the problem because the safety electricity wa was jumping and let's uh, test it so we go here and you can see that it is 26 ohm probably this is okay and the next thing is to see if I have any leakage to the ground that can jump the safety electricity switch and now this is almost one mega ohm so I guess this is a reasonable number so I don't think that this was the problem that the safety switch was jumping probably it was related to the main motor and uh, uh, the connection that we're over the, re the years Hope you enjoy. Thank you. This is all and bye bye.